Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part two of my billing statements series. If you have not yet watched part one, go watch that first. You'll find the link down below in the description. And then when you're done with that, come on back. All right, in part one, we got together all the queries that we're going to need to put together our report. We've got our order unpaid customer query that's got all the order information from our unpaid invoices along with the customer details. Now we can start putting together our report. Now, if you watched my blank template video, you know that I like to have some blank forms in here and some blank reports so I can use those as templates for making new ones. So I'm going to take a copy of my blank R, copy, paste, control C, control V. We're going to call this my uh, order unpaid, unpaid customer R. It's going to be based on that query. So that's what I like to name the report. You can put when you make when you put a button for it on your main menu, call it whatever you want. Building statements. I don't care. But as far as naming it internally, that's what I like to do. I like to make the report and the form or whatever as closely named to their record source as possible. All right, so let's open this guy up for a design view. Now, I got this group level sort. We're going to turn this off for just a minute. We're going to come back to it. Don't worry about it. All right, here's what my blank looks like. I'm going to get rid of you for now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bind this report to that query that we just created. So go over here, double click where the rulers come together. And by the way, if you don't have this, if you don't see the ruler bars, this comes up once in a while in the forums. Just right click and go to ruler. Notice I just turned them off. That comes up in the forums a lot. Like people say, well, you don't, I don't have the ruler bars. I don't have that little box there where I can double click to bring up this property sheet. Well, right click on the report and go to ruler. And that'll turn it back on. See, and then you got this little nifty guy there. You can double click on that to bring up the property sheet. Okay. But in here, let's go to the all tab or the data tab. Either one, find record source. This is where this report is getting his data from. And that's going to be the query that we just made in the last video. So that guy. Now that we have that set, we can close this and we can go to our report design tab, find add existing fields and just bring everybody in. So I'm going to click on order ID, hold the shift key down, click on the last item and then let the shift key go. Click and drag and drop everybody right there. Okay, just bringing everybody over. Now, we don't really need is paid because these are all unpaid. So we don't need that field. Okay. The customer stuff, I want to go up top, but I don't want it to go in the page header. I want to have a group for the customer stuff to go in. So we're going to add a grouping level. All right. Oops, someone's beaming in. So up here on report design, go to group and sort. That's going to turn this thing on that I turned off a minute ago. I had it on because I was playing with it earlier, but I, I don't normally leave this on. Okay. We're going to go add a group. What do we want to group by? We want to group all of what together? Well, the orders are going to be the line items for this, right? And they're going to be all grouped together by customer. So we need a customer group. Each customer is going to get their own report or their own page of stuff showing all of the orders that are unpaid. Okay. Now I do want more stuff. So click on more. All right. Entire value is fine. Um, th there is an option to have it put totals on there for you, but I like doing that manually. I don't like using there. So we're going to skip that for now. All right, we're going to come over here. It says with a header section. Yeah, I want the header section. And then without a footer section, I'm going to drop that down and go with a footer section. I want a customer footer so I can put their order total in that. Okay. All right, so I've got a customer ID header and a customer ID footer. So I'm done with this thing now. So we're going to close this tab. Now, don't click that. That deletes the group. This is one of the things, it's one of my annoyances with access. This and this are too similar. Sammy, put that on the list. We're keeping a list of all of our access suggestions for the Microsoft team. This and this, I see a lot of beginners get confused by these. This deletes the group. This just closes the pane. I just want to close the pane for now. Okay, the group still exists. Okay, all right. Now, let's take all of the customer stuff and put it up here in the customer header. Let's make it a little bigger first. All right, order can stay here. Customer ID can go up here. The order dates can going to go next to that, all right? The description is going to go over here. Order total is going to go over here. All right. First name, last name, and address. These are all customer related fields. So those are all going to go up here. All right. See what I'm doing? Got all the order stuff here. These are my details. And they're all going to be grouped together under the customer. Okay. All right. Let's take a second and just pretty this up a little bit. We're going to put customer ID like that. That's a label. I can put a space there. Okay. We got first name and last name. But I'm going to make this just say name like that. And we'll get rid of last name and we'll just put these next to each other like that. Okay. And then we got address can go here. You're going to have address, city, state, zip, country, a whole, you know, a whole big address block. Again, for class, this is enough. This is fine. 
All right, just so you can see what's going on here. You can make yours pretty later. I got many, many videos on making stuff pretty. Today, we're just going to get this built. Okay, so there's the customer stuff. Now, the order stuff, I want to line up a little differently. I'm going to take the labels and put them over the top of the fields. I'm going to use this little box here and click and drag. See, I'm doing that. I cover this stuff in my beginner classes. So if you don't know all this stuff about moving controls around, go watch Access Beginner 1. I take a lot of time to teach this stuff. All right, description can be longer like that. We got our order total. We'll put the order total at the end. Okie dokie. See if I got that one. I just missed. Does it lined up? That's close enough, right? Okay, maybe order total like that. Okay, bring that up. All right, let's save it. Control S and let's take a peek, see what we got so far. Let's see what it's looking like. I'm going to right click here and go to print preview. Okay, all right, it's coming along. A lot of shading and some weird stuff going on. What's going on here? All right, so here's customer. Here's customer one, then I've got the two orders for customer one that are that are not paid. Okay. Then there's the next customer, Jordy LaForge, and his one order. And then there's Mr. Data with his order. Okay, all right, it's it's getting there. It's coming along. First thing I want to do is notice that the header right here, the labels are appearing for each order. Let's let's get rid of that. How do we get rid of that? Well, I'll come back into here. Design view. These labels need to go up here at the top of all of the orders. So at the bottom of the customer header. So I'm gonna make a little more room here, like that. Just move this guy up and down, right? I'm going to select all of these, cut them out, control X, click up here and hit paste. All right. Now I'm just going to slide these down where you want them, right about there. Okay. Maybe even, how about we put a horizontal line in here, right? Come up to your toolbox, find the horizontal line tool, and then we'll just draw a nice little horizontal line right there. Okay. All right. Bring this up just a bit. Bring these guys up underneath them like that. Leave as much space as you feel you need. All right, save it. Let's take a peek. This At this stage, it's a lot of do a little bit and then see what it looks like. Do a little bit and then see what it looks like. There's a layout view, but I really hate the layout view. I just I don't like layout view. I like to just switch between design and print preview. I've had lots of problems with layout view in the past. When it first came out, it was really buggy, and it just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Um, okay, looks good. Looks good. We're getting there. Let's get rid of all the boxes that are around the fields. That's kind of like a default setting. And let's left align our numbers because all the numbers come in right align. I know some of you like dollar amounts to the right. I don't personally, but it's up to you. They're, hey, they're your Legos. You can put them together however you want. So I'm going to select all of these and we're going to go to format and go to shape outline transparent. And then we're going to do the same thing with these. Uh, shape outline transparent. Okay. And then all the number values. So customer ID, order ID. Order date. Yes, you can select multiple ones, but it doesn't always work. It's another one of my pet peeves. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, looking better, looking better. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, it's coming along. We still got some things to do. We still got to break this up so each customer is on their own page. We got to get rid of this background shading. We got to add order totals so you can total this up at the bottom here, make this look like currency. Lots of little stuff to do. Maybe put a, a statement header across the top with your address. We're going to cover a lot of that in. You guessed it, tomorrow's video part three. Got lots more to do. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Or of course, if you're a member, you can watch it right now because I'm going to record it in just a few minutes. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something, my friends. Live long and prosper. I'll see you tomorrow for part three. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. 
Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.